Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at another locomotive. So, today's locomotive is going to be something that I've wanted for a very long time. It's inside of this box right here. So, I'm super excited to finally have it and to show you guys what it is. So, let's get right into this video and show you guys. So what we have here is the Cato N scale Union Pacific FEF3 steam locomotive and this is number 844. So it's a pretty popular locomotive for those who don't know and the prototype that this is based off of is still in operation today. I just think it's really cool and I love the really big steam locomotives. That's the reason I got the GS4 that I have, the Southern Pacific Daylight locomotive. And now I get to have this one. It's the same wheel configuration for the locomotive. That'll be cool to see again. And then something that I have not had before is the Centipede tem Tender. Centipede Tender. So it'll be interesting to see kind of how it works and if it'll even work on my layout. Let's take a look at the back. Here we have some uh, other products that will go well with this locomotive. So you got the water tenders that the 844 will sometimes have and the excursion train that it usually pulls. And then there's also a little bit of history back here. So if you want to pause and read that really quick, then you can go ahead. But I... I'm going to go ahead and start taking this out of the box. So, I was able to find this for a relatively good price on eBay. Um, it was uh, used, and uh, but it's in it's still in good condition according to the seller. So, um, I was able to get it for about. $50 less than it would have been um, and so I was able to that's that's the biggest problem I had when I was trying to get this was that it was just too too out of my budget uh, you know it usually sells for $200 which uh, I'm not complaining that's totally reasonable for a locomotive this famous but I personally did not want to pay $200 for a locomotive, so I went out to see if I could find it for cheaper, and I was able to get this for cheaper, so um, it looks like we have a bit of paperwork, uh, just a small slip, and let's see, it's just the name and the product number, and... They have some boxes checked, um, and they say it's running 10 out of 10, so, uh, yeah, that looks, that looks great. We'll see how well it actually works. We'll test it out on my layout and make it official. So, let's get to the locomotive, and here we just have one accessory, which just looks like a coupler and a trip pin so yeah you can replace the front of the locomotive if you don't want that uh, pilot if you don't want that pilot there or you need a coupler up front uh, then you can just switch this out to have a coupler in front if you want it sorry if I sound a bit congested I got a I've had a stuffy nose for the past few days and I just haven't cared for it as much as I should have. So, here we go. We have... I'm going to keep it in the tray so that it, uh, so that I don't break anything. But we're just going to take a quick look at this. See if we can zoom in. Oh, yeah. Here. There we go. So... Here we got the front of the locomotive. Uh, 
this whole thing looks very good. All the molded in details, as usual, from Kato look very good. And of course, there are plenty of separately fitted details. So, um, I'm not going to bore you guys with all the names of everything or trying to guess the names of everything. But we're still going to just do a brief look at all these details. So, there's the coupler back of the tender. I wonder if that light will light up. We'll see once it's running. I've never had a tender light work with any of my locomotives. So, so it'll be interesting if this one changes that pattern. What's wrong with this? We're going to try our best to look at the top here without losing focus. Um, of course, it's going to act weird. Because it doesn't think that I'm trying to focus on the top. Nope, we're going to have to take it out of the tray really carefully. And go ahead and look at the top here. Oh, the tender is really light. It's kind of surprising to me. Okay, so here we can actually see it now. I don't know how well it's working, but it's better than what we were getting before. So, there's the top of the locomotive. And I'm sure it's symmetrical for each side, so we'll go ahead and just make sure. Yeah, it just looks the same. Let's take a look at the bottom. See what that's all about. Here we have, it looks like we have those pickups on some of the wheels of the tender. Looks like this will swivel uh, to help with getting it around those corners more smoothly. And this moves side to side. So, yeah, that'll be interesting to see at work. We have the coupling rod. And here's the base awesome I really like these massive smoke deflectors I think that's a very very cool part about this particular locomotive that I really like um, I don't know why I'm just a big fan of the smoke deflectors I think they look cool it kinda gives them a sort of more of a gr an aggressive look. I think it's time to get this on the track and see how it runs. And here we are down onto the main line. I'm just going to call this the main line because I can. Anyway, uh, we're going to do some initial testing, just see how it runs right out of the box. And then... I might run it in for a few minutes. Anyways, let's go ahead and turn that up to just a little bit. See if it starts moving. Oh, Yeah, it started moving. See if we can get it slower. It's starting to move out of shot, so we'll bring it back in. It's getting better the more I do it. Yeah, it, it's moving pretty slow. Let's go a little bit faster. Wow. Just look at that valve gear. Those rods. It's one of the one of the main reasons I like steam locomotives is just because of their All the rods move in. Let's see if we can get a shot of it passing by without the shadow of my arm. Yes. So it runs pretty well. 
Um, let's see how it does on a few of the curves and some of the switches. Then we'll move on from there. Oh, something I forgot to check is if that light would work. Um, I wonder if it's directional, so we'll go ahead and... Yeah, I don't think so. Let's try the other way. Yeah, it doesn't turn on. And here it comes back on the second lap. Finished its first lap, and... It's doing pretty well on the wider curves. Here we have a bit sharper on this end. And it does just fine there. Watch it go around. And it's going to go over this crossover. So we'll see how that goes. And she handles it just fine on another one of those slightly tighter curves. You can see that light really working now. That's just over that crossover, the double crossover. And now it's on the inside tracks, which are my tightest curves. And it's doing just fine on those as well. So, yeah, we can confirm that this runs very well. It hasn't derailed once. And the light works. It runs smoothly. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Pretty good. I thought we should check out that slow speed one more time. Let's see if I can get where my shadow out of the way. So we'll see how slow this can go. Turning up the power gradually. It's not very smooth at slow speeds. Well, I mean at extremely slow speeds. Like that. But it can go smooth. Kind of at that speed. So I'd say it's pretty good crawler. Yeah, I thought it'd be fun to do a little bit of a size comparison uh, just right here. So these two are my largest locomotives. Uh, this one used to be the largest, but now I think this one is the largest one. And then here we just have an F unit to see how it compares to something more common. Uh, I've noticed that F units are a very common locomotive to have in model trains. I'm not going to go too much into detail, just going to show a bird's eye view. Yeah, this one is slightly longer than that one. Uh, this one, bring up here. You can see how massive this locomotive is. And then I think, based on wheels, the FEF3 has bigger wheels than the GS4, I think. That's what it looks like.
And that's about it for this video. We're going to wrap it up here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, and be sure to click the subscribe button, the notification bell, give it a like, all the good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one.